Coming up on 1125, and it is time to take a look at this week's Florida Weekly, and we have the presentation editor, Eric Raditz, to tell us all about it. Hey, Eric. How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Yeah. Um, well, you know, so one thing that we see a lot of is traffic, and we talk a lot about what we can do to improve our traffic. One thing for sure is that there's some things that we can do nothing about. You know what? Just put in a podcast, put on some tunes, except there's going to be traffic. But in another way, we found out that there are several operations that are underway now that engineers are trying to improve it. You may be surprised to find some of the methods that are already in place, and we let you know what we found out about easing traffic in Southwest Florida. I mean, it's a topic that I deal with every day. People say, why is this road backed up? Mm -hmm. so, I don't know. Well, <laughs> pick it up. Pick it up, find out a little bit. Find out more. We're also going to talk about businesses, too, and some some clubs and adult entertainment is doing pretty well in Southwest Florida. Yes, and so when we found out, we got to look pretty deeply into the uh, adult industry in, in Southwest Florida, but also through all parts of the state, from Tampa to Miami to Key West. We found out there, we've uncovered quite a few things in this story that I wrote, but one big one is that they're doing well. Uh, profits are as high as ever with many clubs in Florida. We reach out to owners of the businesses and we find out just why. And we find out how some are reaching a different demographic these days than clubs have in the past with couples coming out, football and WWE games, for example, and happy hours, uh, which many say are making it a little bit of a different environment than before. Anyway, pick up uh, this week, we found out what it's like to have some skin in the skin game. I was wondering if, like, what the reporter's face was like when you were like, you're going to go cover strip clubs. That was me. I wrote oh. the story. Oh, well. <laughs> I was kind of like, okay. That. You weren't like super surprised? No, I mean, you know, it's a business story and in the adult industry, so there you go. But, it's, but we uncovered some really interesting things there. Okay, arts and entertainment, you're talking about how writer is trying to make everything short minimalism which if you've never written anything it's actually really hard to do mm -hmm. it's almost harder to write short mm -hmm. than it is to write long uh, because you have to be more precise and concise into what you're saying and you have to get to the point real quickly but we take a look at uh, if you've heard of tom demarkey tom demarkey who runs the sanibel writers conference sanibel's writers conference now in its 14th year uh, this coming november they bring some of the top authors from all over the world so he's managed to be in this environment where he has these relationships with writers and he gets getting to know them and so he finally writes his own book and we sit down with him, we find out some of his some of his passions and the motives for his short story selections and find out where uh, those in the community can get to meet him and talk to him and pick up this book by Tom DeMarkey. Pretty cool stuff. And of course, every week, top picks. You got some good music. There's even some baseball in here. Are, you, su it's, are you surprised? There's always fun stuff to do in South always. Florida. So pick up Florida Weekly. We not just have the calendar of a lot of things to do. But we have some top picks. Uh, you've heard of Jefferson Starship. I'm sure you've heard of Tony Bennett. Uh, there's a vintage antique baseball game that's going to huh. be played at Terry Park, which is really cool. The Lion King, the musical is swar swarming into town, uh, and much more. So pick us up online, on stands, on your device, free. FloridaWeekly.com. And you know what they say about the best things in life? Free. They're free. Of course. <laughs> All right, Eric, we will see you next week. It's a pleasure. Thank you. See you then.